We're really excited about the new space. This is an entirely new way of thinking about organizing researchers. I really love the new space. It's beautiful, it's efficient, and it's very collaborative. This space that we're standing in right now, I worked in as a neurologist for 20 years. And I would come here almost every day and consult on patients. And I never would have envisioned, ever, that it would look like this and become transformed into a modern, efficient, and highly productive set of laboratories. The goal was to build a physical space that was totally interdisciplinary. The idea of having research themes came from the realization that there were so many big problems that we could address in biomedicine that would have big impact for healthcare. Historically, those questions had been addressed by individuals who worked, let's say, in basic science or translational science or more clinical science. When the space became available in what was the old hospital, there was a real opportunity to say, we're going to cluster people together based on their interests, not based on the department that they happen to be assigned to. We came up with six key themes, and a floor was assigned to each theme in this building cancer, cardiovascular medicine, immunology, metabolism, neuroscience, regeneration. The South Tower space is forward-looking because we're going from the most fundamental discovery science that's done at the bench and taking some of our most promising scientists and putting them side by side with physician scientists who can bring back what they have learned by being involved in the clinical enterprise. The fact that I could step out of my office and look across the hall or to my left or to my right and have investigators that work in different areas that I can pitch new ideas to or get their thoughts and an idea that uh, might be somewhat out of my area, I think really takes our ability to do research to a new level. If you can walk a few yards down the hall and talk to a collaborator who already knows how to do the technique that you're interested in, that could save you years. I mean, that is what shortens the response. It is right across from where I see patients, and I may be taking their blood for research. I can point across the street to the place where we're gonna be doing analysis. So it's extremely convenient, and, and that's important. It's really great for interactions among faculty, but this is not just for that. It's an excellent environment for trainees to learn from each other. We have a big central area for people to interact, and that's a really great opportunity for people to exchange ideas, and I think that's a really great platform to generate a lot of new findings and generate a lot of new collaborations. We all have access to core equipment that will be shared by all of us and that individually we would not necessarily be able to afford. This microscope is one of the most utilized resources in our lab uh, and microscopy in general is kind of bread and butter for our lab. That affords us the opportunity to also use these cutting edge brand new instruments. One of the greatest advantages that we have at UCLA is that we all live on a single, relatively small footprint campus that has life sciences, social sciences, engineering, and many other disciplines and scholarship that have the potential to change the way that we practice medicine. We benefit from having sister health sciences schools right next to us. So the School of Public Health is right adjacent to us, the School of Dentistry, the School of Nursing, and I think we have real opportunities to learn from one another. Space is one of the most uh, precious assets that universities have. We've invested in this building with the sole purpose of trying to amplify our already talented faculty skills and to bring to UCLA and UCLA Health and the David Giffen School of Medicine the kind of talent it takes to be not just great but possibly the best in the world at these special interdisciplinary themes. So that was the philosophy we had in trying to plan this building and the approach to populating it. I feel that we're leading the way through the development of this space.